Good morning from Flower and Garden, y'all. It's a rainy day today. I'm excited to try all the foods again. You know, some of the, usually they repeat some of the foods here and stuff some like that. Some yeah. new, so, so we'll grab so, the booklets. I'm yep. using the app, so get over my camera, definitely please. <laughs> get that Epcot app and it changes to all the festivals and you're able to look a few days ahead of time yeah. so you know what to do. You can favorite the item so you know you want to try it, leave your notes, do whatever. Awesome. What's the name of the app? She's telling you things, I don't even know the name of it. Lesson. I can't get my hands uh -huh. I have no but hands. Guys, I'm excited to try all the new drinks, all the new foods that they have here. And, so like that. and I'm also excited to show you some of the new topiaries as well. I'm excited to see them myself as well. It's a food well. and wine app. Yeah. That's what it's called? Food and wine app. See how cool? All right, guys, with that being said, let's go in and have a blessed day today. I have to go back to the car and get my jacket. Check out the wish topiary here. This is really nice. There's Asha there. <laughs> Wow, this is really, really, really nice. I like it. They did a great job on this. All right, guys, we got the flower and garden passport here. So we got topiaries, outdoor kitchen, garden and rocks concert, festival merchandise, lots of new merch off of here. Seems to be a lot of orange bird and I think some new mini stuff too. Garden gray, so again, Stickers on the back, get your stamps, get your treat at the uh, Pineapple Promenade near the port of entry. So I am excited, let's go eat, I am starving. Yes, definitely, let's go check out these booths and see what they got. I always like to start out the day seeing how long Spaceship Earth is to dictate how packed it's gonna be. Let's see the wait time coming around the corner now, 25 minutes. 25 minutes, it's not too bad. The line's going back that way, but not too bad so far. Crowds are not, not awful yet, so that's good. But I love the flower and garden. Look how colorful everything is. Look at these right here. This is so nice. All right, over here at Starbucks, I got the orange bird waffle. This thing looks pretty good. We gotta take it out of the package though. I can't wait to try it. We got like orange sugar on the top here. Like I need, like I need more sugar. I'm trying to work out. Yeah, it's probably gonna make a big mess, but that napkin. That's why I said let's just eat this inside here real quick. That's weird. Oh, I'm messy. It's messy. It looks messy. It tastes like a cold waffle with sprinkles. Take a piece and of icing. chocolate. I think it's chocolate. Yeah. Right. No. Sorry, and little guy. Really. It's chocolate. just white chocolate with the uh, paper. Yeah. That's all you. I want my stuff in Kenya. All right, guys, I'm gonna give it a quick bite here. I like my waffles with syrup, so this is gonna be weird eating it plain. Mm. Not bad. It is cold, but not bad at all. I actually like it. I knew I was gonna like it without syrup, but it's well, pretty good. It's a little bit warmer. What? If it was warmer, I think it would taste better. You heard her, it's warmer. But actually, it's actually not bad. Not bad. The way she made it sound, I was like, oh God, but it's not that bad. Here's the new Figment Topiary. This is really nice. I think it looks better than last year's. I like it. Check out Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto and Chippendale Topiary over here. I'm over here at one of the new booths for the merchandise that they have for the festival over here. Take a look at all this new stuff that they have for Orange Bird. What is this, a spirit jersey here? The original Orange Bird. And they have some cups here. Oh, this is cool. It looks like an orange carton here. And then they have an Orange Bird hat down here. And then some ornaments here. And then they have these orange bird ears here as well. I like this shirt. This shirt is nice. This is the price of this. I don't see a price on it anywhere. But like I said, those ears are nice here. And they have another shirt here. And I just took a little quick look at here's the hat down here as well. This is nice. It's a nice shirt. And that the apron down there is really nice too. Oh, they don't have the lounge fly here. Then they have some more orange bird stuff over here. I'm trying to get in everybody's way. And then they have some more like, I guess, garden stuff over here. Set yourself free, spirit jersey. And then they have the shirt here, flower and garden. Oh, the winter's blowing it. 
and then some mugs here as well with mini on it. Oh, check out these pins down here too. These are nice. And the keychains. Well, Orange Bird, and he turns into this. That's pretty cool. You get these folds out. into that. That's pretty cool. I believe he smells. Smell. Does he smell? He I smell something. Fancy. He does <laughs> smell fancy. I'm, I'm smelling oranges. I'm smelling oranges. I'm smelling There's Nate right there. Hey, how you doing? They had this last year, but this is actually really cool. This is all like scented stuff. If you go up to it and you smell, it smells. I wish you guys could smell this through the camera. It smells really, really good in here. Oh, who I said, hey, Nate, that was Page of Mr. Morrow. I actually just walked right by us. I thought that was pretty cool to see that. But yeah, this is so pretty. All these flowers here like this. Let's walk up over to this one and take a sniff here. You can take a sniff. The crisp scent of mint that goes hand in hand with the feeling of springtime. Let's see this. Oh wow, it does smell like mint. That actually does. It smells really good. Guys, look at the view here. This is so colorful and always so nice during the garden festival here. Look at this. So beautiful. And then they have the floating uh, plants here. Yeah, they're, they move, but they're still chained down. But yeah, I like the floating plants here. And then all across the lake here, this is so nice. So colorful. I like how I did that. A butterfly, a flower over there. So beautiful. Guys, this is day two of the festival. But man, look at this Encanto. Yeah, it actually started yesterday. Check out this Encanto topiary over here. This is so gorgeous, so nice. This is a beautiful butterfly topiary here. Nice little area. Man, I say, Disney does great jobs at this. They know what they're doing. All right, we're making our way over to Canada to Northern Bloom. One of the food booths over there is a bunch of different things that we want to try. And also there's a beer flight here as well that we wanted to try. So I'm excited yeah, like for that. Four things here, yeah, there's a so bunch of things. We're like, yeah, you know what, let's knock all it all out. Yep. So. Here we go. That's a little bit of a line, but not too bad. There's always a line for Canada. Yeah, there always is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we went to Northern Bloom over in Canada. We pretty much got a full house of everything on their menu. Look, we, we got. got seared scallops, beef tenderloin tips. We got their chocolate maple whiskey cake and the beer flight. So scallops have French green beans, marble potatoes, and uh, a bacon vinaigrette. Beef tenderloin has mushroom bordelaise sauce with potatoes and garnet vegetables. Chocolate maple cake, chocolate maple whiskey cake speaks for itself. The beers are micro pale ale, blonde ale, and a grapefruit lime sour, which I'm excited about this one. I'm not crazy about ales. So let me dig in because we have to do this fast. There's a lot of food here. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. Let me real quick on this. What does it taste like? Like a seared scallop with bacon. <laughs> it's actually really buttery and really soft. Mm. Nice little beef tenderloin. Oh, the potatoes are really good. All right, I'm gonna get sick trying all this different stuff. Ooh, that's a little cold. I wasn't expecting it to be cold. Oh, good though. All right, guys, while she's trying to pick food out of her teeth, I'm gonna try the beer flight here. Um, you can, can you pull these out? I cannot pull these things out. Last time yeah. I did it, the first time I ever done that, I cracked it. Which one is this one? Micro Pale Ale. All right, this is the Micro Pale Ale. It looks pale. Mm -hmm. It tastes like pineapple. It goes down smooth. Does it? Yeah. It tastes, like, it tastes very citrusy. It tastes like pineapple to me. I don't know if it's mean. Which one is this one? A Blonde Ale. The Blonde Ale, okay. That one's a little bit more bitter, but not bad. It didn't go down as smooth as the, the pineapple one. Sour. That's the one Which one is this one? Grapefruit lime sour. Oh, grapefruit lime sour. It reminds me of the grapefruit beer that you get yeah. in Germany. So I'm kind of wondering, hoping. Yeah, it, it does. It kind of tastes just like it. Ooh, it's good. A little bit more sour than the grapefruit beer, but it's good. I like that one. That one's a little bit more bitter compared to the first one. Don't like that one. 
That's not bad. That's my favorite. All right, guys, all the beer and the food was delicious. All right, guys, we got no food for you. <laughs> Mosey on by now. Can't, he says do not feed the wildlife right here on the sign. Sorry, guys, can't feed you. All right, here's Flower, Bambi over here, and Thumper. That's actually really nice. This is like the same location I believe they had it oh, last year, it's too. so pretty. Yeah, it is. All right, we're still over here in Canada. This is from the Flower and Garden. It's a peach smash. It's Canadian club whiskey with lemon, peach, puree, and ginger beverage with alcohol. That looks really good. All right, guys, we got the peach smash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, weird. This is over at the Maple Popcorn Cart. A new drink, I believe, for the festival. I didn't mix it, so let's see. Did you tell them all what was in it? Yeah, I already said it when I wanted at the sign. Reason why I say that, it sounds like a wrestling name, Peach Smash. Ooh. Good? Yeah. I like it. Is that an edible flower? No. No. Oh, <laughs> that would have eaten it. I think it's like a no. I don't think you want to eat that. Flower. No, I wouldn't have eaten it. I don't know if it's like a marigold type of flower, but that's weird. We have to take that out. 11.50. Not bad. Let me try it now. Oh, and all that food that we got over there in Canada, you cannot go wrong with any of it. They were oh, wow. amazing. You don't even taste the alcohol in this at you all. Taste a little bit. I don't taste anything. <laughs> alcoholic. <laughs> no, wow! I can down this in two seconds. I feel like a raging alcoholic because I don't taste anything in it. I mean, very it's like a little hint of it. Some drinks are stronger, but I think it's because the alcohol is either on top or on the bottom, and when it's not mixed. It's strong. Yeah, maybe coming up. All right, this is really delicious. Great, uh, great deal, guys. It was. Um, what was the price? 11 dollars 11 11 50 so not bad. This area in Canada is back open again as it was closed off for the longest time. But now I see that they uh, they finished working on this. They had this all scaffolded up here and then they had a wall here. I haven't been back here in a while, but it's all open now. I always like this little spot back here. Very nice. And look, the old phones right there, the old phone booths. We don't see them anymore. That's it. It's so, much, so much reminds me of the old pay phones. Well, you have one in there that's like that too. This is still my phone. Remember when you used to dial 1 800 collect, or am I too old for this? You yeah, know? This is so much fun that they have a loud thing. Oh my God. That's so cool. Anybody remember their childhood phone numbers? I still do. <laughs> Sad part is, I still remember mine too, like it was yesterday. I have not forgotten it. I still remember my old phone number since I was a kid. It's embedded in my memory. Yeah. <laughs> but the only phone numbers I remember nowadays are the old phone numbers. No new numbers, only old, from like 40 years ago. Go figure. <laughs> Well, the only phone number that I know by heart is my wife's. <laughs> if anything was ever happened to me and she didn't answer the phone, I would be dead. If she didn't answer, because that's the only number I know by heart. That's sad. I don't even know my daughter's phone number, my mom's phone number. I knew her old cell phone number, but then since we moved, we changed it. I don't know anything anymore. It's bad. <laughs> All right, let's go finish taking a look at this area. Oh, yeah, we that's so nice. It, it feels like my other Let's go down this way. Since everybody's over there. It'd be better to go down here and get a better view. Only thing is, is you get wet too over here. But I'm gonna go this way because everybody's crowding around that spot for a nice picture, which I can't blame them. They get a great picture, but look, look at this view from here. Much better. Guys, look how beautiful this is. And I'm glad we can actually come back here again and take a uh, look at this area because I haven't been back here in a while. So we're still in. I don't know if I can go down. Oh yeah, I can go down over here. See, look at this view. Awesome. We got Peter Pan and Captain Hook's topiary right here. Look at that. That's awesome. Let me give you a better view here. That's so cool. And then over here we have That's cool. All right, guys, now we're over here at uh, Piglet Poo and Eeyore uh, Topiary. We got Poo and Roo. Yeah, Poo and Roo is over here with the carrots. Peas and carrots. We go together like peas and carrots. That's nice. All right, look at the little Tinkerbell's Topiary here. This is nice how they have this whole thing set up here. 
All right, we're over here at what? Fleur de Lis in France. And we're gonna get the pool duck that they have over here. From this a is de canard a la orange. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, will, I will be like Joey from France, La Fleur, La Fleur, La Fleur. I can't I say this. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. That's how it works. But oh, this is a packed booth here. Like orange sauce and garlic, rosemary, and mashed potatoes. Something different. We never really come to France, and this was interesting. Last time we got something here was the beignet. It was not a beignet, yeah. it was a donut. So I was a little disappointed they have it again. I'm going to pass on that. Do they have an alcoholic beverage here? Um, ooh. Vodka, Grey Goose. El orange, San Germain liqueur, white and red cranberry juice. That sounds really good. Definitely gotta get that. Yeah, let's try that. And what are we trying to say? It's a frozen drink, so we're gonna try that and then head over to between France and Morocco. And we're gonna try some impossible stuff today that we never really do. So yeah. definitely different things this time. Get our stamps in. Stamps. Alright, over here in France we got the pulled duck. I asked her how to say it. I Long cannot say it. Time. Never did it, but here, so here it is duck and mashed potato. So on these two things it was $22.45. A little expensive. We got four things over in Canada for a little bit less. So. And what's this called? This the is a uh, like frozen slushy, rosé slushy. It looks like um, cotton candy. It's bubble gum. Did we have this before? No? Oh that's so good. I need a straw though. That's really good. All right, let's try this. If I can get rid of the bug. It kind of looks like turkey and mashed potatoes. Tastes like Thanksgiving. Tastes like turkey and mashed potatoes. All right, guys, we're going between France and Morocco to the Isla Fresca over there. We're gonna try out some more foods or maybe some drinks, I don't know yet, but we're gonna head up over there. The duck was delicious. That is good. And this pink cotton candy looking <laughs> drink right here, that is actually really good too. It's vodka, gray goose, the orange, San Germain liqueur, white and red cranberry juice. I don't know if you heard it, it was vodka and gray goose as you said in the beginning. <laughs> that's all that matters. Vodka and gray uh, goose. That's it. <laughs> the alcohol in my system is getting lonely, so it needed more alcohol. <laughs> Here's some more topiaries for y'all. I remember this one from last year. Look at this pendulum right here. This week goes back and forth. That's actually pretty cool. From Beauty and the Beauty. And then they actually have Beauty and the Beast over there. We're, we're going to take a little closer look at that one. Now here's Beauty and the Beast topiaries. So gorgeous. Okay, we got our stuff from the Isla Fresca here. We got the Impossible Jamaican Beef Patty with spicy papaya syrup, coconut trace leches, which is vanilla coke soaked with oak, almond, and coconut milk toast topped with toasted coconut. That looks delicious, and that looks delicious. Yeah, we delicious. don't typically do like uh, impossible stuff, and there was a couple little things here. Figured we give them a try, let you guys know that there's other stuff here besides uh, <laughs> that's at least maybe vegan and meat free and a little healthier, somewhat. <laughs> but I'm gonna cut it because there's like papaya sauce all over it. And when you get this, you get your stamp. You get the stamp for yeah. the coconut. Yeah. I like beef patty, so I'm a little excited about this. I look all over my hands, so I almost dropped it twice <laughs> carrying it over here. Look at the inside of that. And that looks good. Papaya. It's supposed to be a spicy papaya sauce. Mm. Ooh, it's spicy. That pairs well with the meat inside. All right, I'm going to give it a try now. I don't usually do impossible stuff for you know, fake meat, mm. but that is it's good. pretty good. It almost tastes like real meat. Yeah, I mean that's what they're supposed to taste no. like, but... I'm not tasting the you. spice yeah. yet that she's tasting. Oh, you didn't kick the, the spices no. on the papaya sauce. That's I don't good. taste it. Uh, Alright, try the dessert real quick. Mm, I forgot about that. <laughs> Skip right to dessert now. You're going to need this to offset the heat in that one. I feel like that. Is that coconut? Mm -hmm. I was worried that it would be way too sweet. That's not sweet at all. All right, guys, you heard her. Everything is delicious. At first, I didn't know how that was going to taste because it's an impossible Jamaican beef patty. Because I love my Jamaican beef patties, but man, that is really, really good. I'm pleasantly surprised on how well that tastes. It really surprised me because usually I don't like anything impossible, but that was good. 
They kind of making me change my mind here a little bit on certain things. We have one more impossible thing to try. I think it's the meatball over there somewhere. I can't remember where. It might be around the Italy, or I think it might be in the liver. I don't remember now. All right, so when we get there, we're gonna try that next. Mm -hmm. And some more drinks. Like they have Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy here. Topiaries, that's really nice. Kermit the Frog on the bicycle. All right, we got a beer flight over here at the Tangerine Cafe. <laughs> and of course he spills it. Well, <laughs> it's hard for me to walk with this. I spilled some of it. They fill it to the top, which I, I'm grateful for. They fill it to the very tippy, tippy top. And when you walk, you can't help it. Especially when you're trying to maneuver around the crowds here. Honeysuckle hard cider, citrus hard cider, and pomegranate hard cider. All right, so this is all wet now, thanks to him. Okay, honeysuckle. Yes. Ooh, that's yummy. I like hard ciders. Citrus. How is it citrus? It's like a pretty, like, orangey red. Not bad, but I think I like that one so far. Okay. Pomegranate. I think the pomegranate was good. I remember having this one before. No, that's weird. I like that one. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm gonna give it a try. Tastes citrusy? No. That tastes good. That tastes. That does taste very citrusy. What flavor was that one? Citrus. <laughs> oh, I like yes, this it one. is. Which one is this? The honeysuckle. The honeysuckle. Feeling that one. It's like one out of three for that, me. that one's not bad. That one's a lot sweeter. That's why she probably likes it. Yeah. And here's the pomegranate. Let me give this one a try. They all go down smooth. They're cider, so that one tastes a little bit more lemony to right. me than like pomegranate. I wonder if they switch these. They're all good. She told me from left to right, so that's what they always say when they yeah. make them. My luck, it's like one out of three that I like. I like the honeysuckle, so you can have those too. <laughs> More for me. Over here in Japan, they brought back the dragon topiary. This thing is always really beautiful. This is the Bonsai Society of Florida. These are some nice bonsai trees right here. That one has no leaves on it, but this one right here looks really nice. You say how long they've been in training for. Oh yeah, this one's been in training for 30 years? Wow. 30 years. Holy cow. And then this one's been uh, in training for 10, but it's 19 years old. This one actually is age is 60. It's been in training 30 years, but it's been, it's 60 years old. Wow. That little ash tree is 60 years old. Wow. Uh, this one's 65 years old. That's pretty cool. And then this one's like growing like down, down the pot. See, it shoots down over this way. And that one's 22 years old. We got a bird over here just chilling on the plants, the floating plants here. Look at this. Such a great view. So nice. Hey, little buddy. Taking a little break here. So we skipped half of the showcase just because we're coming back again next week and we are stuffed. So next week we're going to start off going towards Mexico and go around. Yeah, because there's too much to show you all in one day. Yeah, that's a lot. So, we're full. <laughs> yeah. Hey, little guy. I was doing so good. I'm like, yeah, I can keep on eating. <laughs> nope. I knew she couldn't. I try. I come with such high hopes that I can try everything. It doesn't happen. Her eyes are bigger than her stomach. Always. Now they're even worse now. <laughs> My stomach shrunk. Over here by Mission Space, they have a group topiary. You gotta see, check this out. I'm trying to get it above everybody because they're all taking pictures in front of it. But that's so cool. I think that's pretty neat this year that they have him. Right, now we're making our way over to the creation shop to show you guys all the new merch that they have here for the flower and garden festival so let's go on in and check it out all right, here's all the orange birds on fly here does he pop out oh yeah he does he pops out yep yeah, he comes out that's so nice yeah it's eight dollars like it's really this nice mine from last year we'll this is the one from last year and here's the new one this one's really nice i like it's the colors really on this too. one Let's see what the interior lining looks like, if you can open it. It's probably got the bag. Oh, you can't really see. You can't really see they got the bag inside. Oh, yeah. Oh, these are nice. They're limited two per guest. It's about time. Two per guest. They messed up on figment last year. But yeah, that's actually pretty cute. I like this bag a lot. Yours is nice, but this one's really nice too. I like the colors on this one. Maybe next time. Here's the lug, little orange bird bag. We actually got the figment one at the last festival. 
That's actually really nice. They're 60. Small enough to hold your cell phone, a little yeah, wallet like in perfect. there. Yeah, it's perfect. a little crossbody bag, it's great. Yeah, really nice. This is for annual pass holders here. It's like a little lunchbox, I guess. Yep. Or a little bag. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, another price. What's the price of it? 125. Whoa, 125. And that one I think is a little bit more. Yeah, this one might be a little bit more here. But these are for annual pass holders. This one's limit one per guest. Oh wow. That is how much? No, no. No price. 135. This is 135. So this one, the big one. You can wear it as a regular person or it converts into a book bag as well. Oh, like a backpack? That's pretty cool. Yeah, you can adjust the straps to make it into a book bag. Oh yeah, you can adjust it like a backpack. That's pretty cool. There's some more pass holder items here. Look at this shirt. Pretty cool shirt. Spring has sprung. The pass over 2024. Flower and garden. Let me check over here and see the pins. Can't say it and not show it. Oh wow, this is. These are some nice pins here. B one. Oh yeah, and the B one down here. Twenty. Under twenty bucks. How much is that one? Seventeen ninety nine. Seventeen ninety nine. I don't remember pins being so much, but they like raise the price up. They like this little bowl here, it's like, a, like a flower pot type thing. Pot. It's 30, 35, 30, 34, 30. Yeah, the items this year seem a little bit more than they were last year. The ears yeah. are like ten dollars more. The ears were forty four ninety nine. They're usually about thirty five dollars. So they were a little bit more pricier. All right, here's the ears. Here, here's the front. I showed these earlier, but I didn't show the back side. Show the back side again. That's the back side of them. So these are forty five this year. They match the bag identical, which is great. That's but I'm pretty not cool. sure why they're a little bit more expensive this year. Yeah, I don't know why they're a little bit more. All right, here's There's a mini a flower mini garden. We yeah, have a little mini so stuff. Cute. I like this one. That's why. Okay, I showed the back side of this, but I didn't so see pretty. the front. I thought show the front. That was so pretty. That's yeah, so cute. This, like this, this whole area right here is like all mini, mini stuff. stuff. Pretty nice. There's some mugs over there. What is that? Keychain? Keychain. That's oh, nice. Butterfly. That's cute. They have some pretty nice Orange Bird Dooney bags here. Look at these. How much are they? $2.98. dollars i will give you a closer look at them. Here they are here. How much is this one? I don't know. There's no price on So the problem is that you can't really move them around too much because they have an alarm on them and it'll go off. $2.98 as well. All right, guys. Had a great day today at Epcot. The festival was fun. We, all, we couldn't get it all in one day. We'll have to come back and get yeah, more. So much food and I am stuffed right now. So yeah, definitely next Thursday we'll be back again. We'll start the other way from Mexico, go around hit the other spots that we haven't hit today. Doesn't matter to me which way I start from Mexico or Canada. I like going Canada wise. I like, yeah. Goes to Mexico, that's so. how we used to start off was Canada <laughs> yeah. that way. But we realized a lot of things that we liked from the festival started Dirt, off in Canada Mexico. Oh, well, help. well, and well, in the beginning, well, after we've been a couple of times, we found out that the, a lot of things that we liked, we, we had to go through Mexico, it was just quicker to get to it. Yeah, but then Canada started having all the good stuff. In the now they do. <laughs> now they do. All right, guys, with that being said, we love you. We'll see you all next Bye, video. Bye. Bye.